Hello there, welcome to Life and Truth Podcast. My name is Jonathan Obise, and today I'm going to be talking about how to secure online internship or volunteering opportunities. Um, but before we continue, I want to, if this is the first time you're coming to the podcast, please don't hesitate to go to all of my social media accounts, Jonathan Obise. Make sure you follow me, right? Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere. And also my website, jonathanobise.com. You'll find additional resources that I believe is going to be a blessing to you. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the topic of today how to secure volunteering or online internship and volunteering um, opportunities with top companies across um, the world in today's world right um, now it is said that brilliance is evenly distributed but opportunity is not that's the truth have you ever seen someone who is so brilliant so brilliant but you just think to yourself oh if only he or she has the opportunity to express this brilliance that they have right they would go places that's the reality of many people but you see without the right information you can't move from a to b without the right information you continue to be in that box where people continue to pity you if you're brilliant or if you're exceptional if you have something that can benefit the world so how can you secure online internship opportunities or volunteer opportunities that can lead to building quite high quality network and relationships that may now lead to real real bigger opportunities for you we live in a world today where people can decide to work from anywhere um, remote work is a reality people can decide to live anywhere in the world whether it's in you know Dubai or Maldives or Fiji or just live anywhere and work with companies across the world and if you're listening to me I want to believe the essence the reason why you're listening to this is either because you want to you want to find this type of opportunities or you know someone who needs this type of opportunities and you know you would probably get information and then share with them whatever be the case you are at the right place so without further ado I'm just gonna share um, some with you so number one I want to share it's called the forage the forage um, dot com now the forage dot com happens to be you know a site where you can actually um, sort of you know um, find opportunities online um, if I what you see on the site here you see you see it says here when you visit the site here it says showcase your skills find your career fit so there are a lot of companies here that actually put out jobs and if you have the skills that meet you know the needs of these companies you most likely secure these opportunities and you can make real um, progress so you see it says bite size you know five to six hour virtual work experience programs that give students a genuine career advantage with fortune 500 companies that's top companies across the world in the US um, especially so you see here for the forage is focused on students so those who are still in school and irrespective you know whatever school you're in you can actually find um, you can actually open an account here and you can see all the top top companies that they're talking about you know from kpmg to city you know to bcg and all the top companies general electric jp morgan and all of that and these are real opportunities that you can secure virtual internships that can lead you to build you know quality relationships it's not always about the money it's about what skill can you develop or what skill do you have what can you offer and then someone somewhere on the team can see that skill and recommend you to real opportunities that's the benefit of virtual um, of internship that a lot of people sometimes you know overlook you have to showcase that you have the skill and here you have a description of course of how it works you know companies create programs with forage you know to look for the next generation of talent they try out any program until they find the right one to complete increase increases your chances of course of being hired you know by two to five times and that's the truth imagine for example you're hiring you're probably um, let me say you're in a company you're working in a team and you're you're trying to hire you know talent most often than not you will go through the route of you know seeking for interns people who probably are just willing to give their time to do the work and when real opportunities open up if you actually have an intern who is doing so well will you actually overlook that intern and hire someone from outside the the the, the likelihood of that happening it's it's close to zero because if you have an intern that is doing well, even without getting paid, when real opportunities come up, you would always want to give that intern an opportunity. And this is something that a lot of people usually miss out when it comes to internships and volunteering. So Forage is the place to go to. You can see they have a lot here on their websites, the companies, and you know people who also have secured opportunities with them. So open an account on Forage, you know, and begin to explore what it looks like. I have you already. I try to. I open an account with them, and there you can see what the dashboard looks like. Here, you can see all the companies. You can see the opportunities. JP Morgan, Software Engineering, Virtual Experience. You have all of this one by City Market Division. You have, um, you know, BCG here saying I'm um, Open Access Data Science and Ad Advanced Analytics Virtual Experience Program. 
you have here so many Accenture, you know, discovery program, you have um, Quantium, this analytics virtual experience program. All these are real opportunities that you can leverage and really move yourself forward. I see there are so many of them. You can actually just apply and see. You never know the opportunity that can really just work out um, for you. Um, also, yeah, this, by the way, I just started the onboarding process. So you can see the onboarding process. Number one, they ask you a quick question. Why do you want to do a virtual experience program? So you tell them why you want to do a virtual experience program. Choose the one that's relevant for you. Um, so you want to develop your resume. You want to gain practical, you know, career skills and blah, blah, blah. Step two, select all that applies to you. Are you looking for opportunities in STEM, in business, commerce, computer science, and IT, medicine, law? Do you see opportunities here? And then next you have here, when did you start your current degree? So you can tell them if you're still in school and all of that. Um, I suppose complete my degree and blah, 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 blah. If your master's program, PhD, whatever it is, right? You just do that and then you're good. Um, you have, you know, the frequently asked questions. Um, you can go through that. And then here's an example of one of the opportunities. So data analytics, virtual experience program. I can see here the virtual experience program is free for all students. Now, this is particularly tailored to students. Now, that said, that is that for the fora. So please visit the website. You'll see the link, of course, in the description, um, in the description um, for this video. Then another opportunity I want to show you, another place to find real opportunities, it's, you know, onlinevolunteering.org. Now, onlinevolunteering.org is an initiative of the United Nations where you have United Nations agencies that post opportunities from time to time, right? Um, they post real opportunities, you know, for, for looking for volunteers to do some work and all of that. And when you visit this website, you can also see the link, of course, in the description. When you visit this link, you, of course, you need to open an account probably before you can apply or something. Um, I'm not even sure if you need to open an account for this. No, you don't, need to, you don't need to open an account for this. You can just actually see these opportunities and apply directly to them. So you go through this. What you observe, you observe on the site, however, is that aside United Nations agencies or UN agencies that post opportunities, you also have foundations and all these other guys who post opportunities. Well, if you ask me, I'll say focus on, you know, finding opportunities with, um, you know, UN agencies. Now, um, they can lead to real opportunities, um, right? Um, you may have all these other foundations, which I'm not sure. They may be in different countries and all of that. If you just want the experience, why well, go for it and all of that. But if you want to really build, a, you know, real relationships with people who, you know, can recommend you to real opportunities, can really see your skill and really, you know, um, you know, take you on if real opportunities open up. And I would recommend that you look out for UN agencies. So you can see here that you have a lot of opportunities, stakeholder analysis and engagement plan, Libyan CSOs with um, the United Nations volunteers. Um, and then, you know, you have all of these opportunities all here. And by the way, this is not just limited to students. So the forage, of course, is focused on students, whether you're undergraduate, postgraduate, master's, PhD, but this is open for everyone. So you can look for opportunities here and the opportunities you find here can actually lead you to build real relationships, right? That can lead to real opportunities. And that's why you must not despise it. You must look for opportunities that fit your skill, that fit, you know, um, the thing you want to do, you know, the things you want to do and build your skill, showcase your skill. And when real opportunities come, I tell you, those who you've worked with would always find ways to either recommend you or bring you on board. So these are the places where I believe you can find real online opportunities, both on internships and also volunteering opportunities. And you can begin to build your skill for the 21st century for real opportunities. So. That said, let me just, okay, so we have here, let me just share an example of something here. So here you can see we have um, this graphic design opportunity here with UNDP in Bangladesh. If I click on this, let's see what this shows us. So you can see here it says graphic designer. If you're looking for a graphic designer, UN, UNDP Bangladesh. And now another thing is this, even if the opportunity, you volunteer, right and it doesn't lead to real opportunity it's if you've you've improved your cv you've improved your resume i did something with this organization and i was able to deliver this and this and this so you've improved your cv you've improved yourself above the average person who is just looking for opportunities no experience no history nothing so here you have that. So you have UNDP and all of that. And you can see, um, you know, when this was posted, you can click on apply now. You can see the tax, what the tax is, what the background and objectives are. You see what the requirements are. Um, and then what else? Right, um, just, um, I think that's that. And then when you click on apply now, let's see what it shows up. Okay, you'll be required to sign up, right? You'll be required to sign up. So you can now sign up or you register or you log in if you haven't done, done so. So when you click on register, um, 
you wait for a bit and then this brings you here eager to start okay i'm already blah 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 you fill in your name your email you know date of birth all the regular stuff and then you click on sign up and then you're good and then you begin to apply you know you apply provide your um, cv and you know and all of those um, all of the information they will ask you and then if you know you're lucky right you're lucky everything it's you have luck you also have um, you know um, your own experience that can really um, push you forward so if you're lucky you get the opportunity and then this can really lead to big big things for you so i guess that is it for today um let me add one more so just one more i love to add and that is called um unv.org now unv.org also is also you know the united nations volunteers program right but this is not online the other one i just showed now the online opportunities is for online volunteering this one is actually real volunteering across countries so they send you to countries to go and volunteer in person now this is unv.org the link will also be in the description below so here you can see you have you know you can engage as a volunteer you can check out current opportunities i'll just click on this and then here you can see there are so many opportunities you have all these opportunities with all the different UN organizations in colombia in djibouti in thailand in solomon islands in somalia and kazakhstan literally every country you have all these filters here that you can use to also narrow down maybe you're looking for opportunities with who unicef you know UNV, UN women um if you're particular about any country you can you know narrow it down to a particular country a region you know your language skill and so many more and what this does is that if let me say for example i click on on this uh, what now information analyst right now you see it gives a description of what the job is the location Somalia location Nairobi right so yes you're gonna be based in Nairobi and then supporting you know Somalia you have here expected expected starting date which is immediate until the first of you know December you know um, 2021 application deadline is 26 of this month that's um, you know uh, just a few days from when this has been recorded you have a description of the tax and all of these things you have you know the experience required the language you know required and all of this information that you have here and you click on you know open or you click on apply and then straight up it takes you to where you can now begin to really just provide all the information that you need to provide and you know just record just really just move forward so here you have it brings you to this website here where it's sort of the portal so you have the volunteer management application module so here you can actually log in. I have an account here, so you can log in or you can begin to open your own account. You know, can they sign up here? And then before you know it, real opportunities can come up. So I want to believe you've been able to pick a thing or two from this. Please do not hesitate to explore all these opportunities. If you also know someone who needs opportunities like this, share this video with them so they can also benefit from these opportunities. So thank you so much again for listening and I look forward to sharing more with you on the next episode. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and to share and God bless you. And bye -bye.